Aries, hi, welcome to Soul Vibin. Back with another tarot card reading here for you. Aries, this is going to be your love reading energy update for September 2021. So we're going to take a look at your energy to see what's going on in between you and your loved ones around you. Okay, this can be guidance from archangels and basically just an overview of what's happening in your connection, relationships, family, whatever this is about. So we're going to take a look at your oracle cards, which I've placed here. Okay, this is going to be what you're going to release. This is going to be advice from the universe, your spirit animal, and an archangel message here. These are the, obviously the love romance angels, so we're going to take a look at what's going on in your relationship, um, a deeper understanding of what's going on. I will also be pulling out some self-care messages as well as shadow aspects of your person. And a couple other oracle cards, but of course I'm going to start off with a tarot. So let's look at tarot. I'll lay the cards out and then I'll go through the oracle cards one by one. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, of course. Definitely recommend you watch from your rising sign for my readings. But you're more than welcome to watch from your sun sign. So Aries, let's see what's going on with you. Aries, what's going on? Okay. Aries. So let's go ahead and split. Let's see. So Aries, you're dealing with divine masculine, okay? I feel like maybe things are looking a little bit serious or it's like this person isn't open to communication, okay? Get a little bit of stubbornness. They do like to stay in control uh, of the situation. This can also be your energy because the emperor does represent Aries. So this can be how you're feeling at the moment. Maybe you're just not open for love or maybe you're feeling a little bit bored or resistant. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and keep going here really quick. So here we get the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe this person, okay, this emperor or another Aries or this older person, maybe for some of you who is interested in you, okay, very interested. And I feel like they're offering you something really stable. For some of you, this is a boss or this is a, this can be a, a, like a job for sure, Okay. I feel like maybe someone in this connection doesn't feel like there's enough reciprocation going on or like someone is um, emotionally distant or emotionally unavailable. And that's the vibe I got immediately from the Emperor card. It's like it's a little bit serious. Um, but I do feel like someone is giving in this connection and someone is invested. Maybe you've invested a long time into this connection. But at the same time, it's like you're wondering if, you know, it's worth it. If it's worth investing into something, I definitely see that it is. Whatever it is that you're thinking about um, investing your energy into, I, I feel like it is. I feel like you're just a little bit unsure. So you need to like rebalance your energies there, maybe ground your energy for sure. But I do feel like what you've been investing into will pay off. That's like the main energy I'm getting. So that's it's a very straightforward message, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the high priestess, you already know like how things are going to play out and how things are going to balance out, okay? And somewhere in there, though, I do feel like there is some resistance from your person or from you. It can be like this resistance there is towards you. I feel like there, someone here is thinking about um, investing into this connection. I definitely feel like someone here isn't really invested into this connection, too. I feel like... They could be like giving you something. They want to give you a gift or something. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and clarify that with my other tarot cards in just a bit. But let's go ahead and look at the romance angels really quick. So here we got reconciliation. And I just saw number 414. That may be very synchronistic. Maybe you're seeing a lot of ones and fours. So this can be someone that just came back into your life with this Ten of Pentacles who's like, for some of you, maybe this is like going on a date or it's like they want to win your heart back. But I don't know if you're open to it, Aries. I feel like you're kind of on defense. You know, you're on, you're on the fence. You're like thinking about it. I feel like you want to take your time and you really want to think about this. Very soon is here, so this is telling me that maybe a reconciliation is going to happen in between you guys very soon. For some of you that have been waiting for someone to come back around, this person will come back around. Okay, I do have to say that. So yeah, there's a lot of passion in between you two. Okay? A lot of passion. 
and I can feel it with this red divine masculine who's ever invested a little bit more into the connection either like they have a lot of underlying feelings but I, I don't feel like they're even underlying I feel like they've put it out in the open with this ten of pentacles like they really um have their feelings out but it's not really their feelings it's more like their actions to be honest with you <laughs> I don't, I don't know if they've showed you their feelings much. It's more like what they've done for you. Like they've done a lot or they've showed you um, with their actions that they're there for you. But you're still kind of like hesitant. And now this can be vice versa, okay? This can be you feeling this way. So let's go ahead and look at what you need to release at this moment in time. Surrender, worry, make a commitment not to not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. I love this card. Okay, so this is what you need to release in order for this to come in. So let's look at this. Wow, so powerful, Aries. Okay, so there's opening to discovery. Obviously, there's a key and there's a keyhole and it's like you're peeking through to the future or you're peeking through to what can come next. I feel like there's a lot of potential and you kind of know this. That's why there's this like thinking about something here. Like you're thinking, you're taking your time. You want to make sure you're making the right decision. I feel like you already know with the high priestess that was at the back of the deck here. I feel like you already know that this can lead to somewhere really beautiful. Like you know that this is worth investing into because it's going to bring about like really nice balance into your life. Maybe it's something that you've never really had before too. That's why you're a little hesitant to it, right? It's kind of like, you know, you're not focused on, on the, the things that are here, but you're very blessed. Okay, so let's look at your spirit guide. So your spirit guide is the lion. This is all about confidence, loyalty, okay? It's like somebody is loyal to you. This is all about... um Charging forward, um, knowing that everything's gonna be good too, because the lion is just, he kinda, he's really relaxed, you know, but at the same time, he's very confident. It's like he knows um, that everything's gonna work out good. So I definitely feel like this is your energy. Like you're very stable. I see a lot of stability. Even though you're unsure of where things are headed, whether it's in this connection or in your life, I still feel like if you're not feeling confident, then you should be because I see that you're a boss. I see, like, first of all, um, the emperor and the ten of pentacles. This is someone who has money. Or this is someone who puts themselves out there very confidently in that, you know, rules from a place of authority, but also uh, does everything that's right for everyone. So I do see that you're very fair with your dealings and the way you handle your situations is very equal or very fair, which is really nice. So I feel like people like that about you. They can trust in you as well. This is something I'm saying. It's like people trust in your energy and what you put out there. People trust you. So let's go ahead and look at the Archangel message here. The card you get is Aqua Aura Quartz. So this is communication, okay? So comunicación sana en las relaciones personales. La comunicación clara, asertiva y los diálogos del corazón a corazón te ayudan a comprender y a ser comprendido. So this is about, um, you know, uh, having a heart-to-heart -heart open conversation or having a conversation that's going to put you into a new world or a new portal. Or I speak like this because it's like spiritual, right? <laughs> it's, it's something spiritual that's happening, but it's also opening up a new door for you here, okay? Because you have a new offer from someone. And I feel like you're interested or you're going to have a new offer if it's not here yet, it's very soon, okay? Maybe you've been waiting for something like this for a while. It's. It, I feel like it's time for you to shine. You know, the lion, they shine, okay? So this is you, this is your energy, this is your spirit animal. It's telling you, like, don't hold back. Like, go ahead and show what you have because you've put so much work or so much effort into something that you've been doing. So it's time for you to put yourself out there. It's time for you to be seen as well. I love your energy. So let's go ahead and uh, clarify. So I'm gonna clarify this Emperor card. It's the Emperor about please. 
Emperor for Aries. So this is you. I feel like you're coming through just very powerful. Ace of Rods. So a new passionate beginning or, or this person has a lot of passion for you, okay? Whoever you're dealing with or it's a mutual connection. I feel like it, this is a new idea you have too. If it's not a relationship, it's a new idea that can make you a lot of money. Okay, maybe this is starting a business. Can I clarify the Four of Cups, please? Four Aries. Four of Cups clarified by the Six of Swords. So it's telling you, like, move away from feeling this way. From feeling bored or feeling like... It's almost like a stuck energy. You're not really stuck, though. It's just kind of like you... You get in your feelings or something, you know? You can move away from this and kind of, like, turn around and look at look at the other side of the situation, I guess is what I'm getting. Because it's not really like you're stuck, but sometimes you're unable to open up yourself to, like, the bigger picture of things. And then the Seven of Wands, hold on. Seven of Wands is clarified by the Three of Cups. So yeah, reconciliation happening for you very soon here. Okay, this person is on their way back to you. Um, If this is someone coming back to you, yeah, they are hesitant to it, but they're going to be back, okay? And this is Divine Masculine. You get the Lion and the Emperor. This is like your person and you know it is, okay? If it's not, if you're a divine masculine listening, I feel like the emperor can be female energy. But this emperor, she could be serious, like really serious, or she comes off as serious, but let's see. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Five of Cups. So maybe you already said no, or maybe this person just thinks you're going to say no to this Three of Cups, okay? So they, there is some worry behind behind this situation or, or someone here is worried that there's going to be no reconciliation but there is okay and then six of pentacles the magician so <laughs> you're you're making things happen for yourself okay or this person is making things happen okay someone's gonna um offer you what you want basically you're gonna get what you want is what i'm getting with the magician and the six of pentacles so don't doubt that i definitely feel like it's very clear um and the five of pentacles reversed i don't take reversals and um I guess some of these cards are reversed, so I'm taking them now, and I definitely feel like this is synchronistic. You're not going to be left out is what I'm getting. Like, everything's going to work out as you plan it to, okay? Because I feel like you have a plan on this idea, or if that's not the idea, or this career thing, uh, being very successful that it's this person, like, they're going to come back around, okay? Because the Three of Cups, clarified by the Five of Pentacles reversed, this is... Someone coming back around, someone realizing like, okay, well, it's not really worth, leave. you're not really worth leaving behind. Like, it'd be foolish. Like, that's just what I'm getting. It's like someone here um, really sees your worth. They really do. But obviously nothing's perfect. So I feel like sometimes they think like, <laughs> I don't know what they think to be honest, but like the sun card. Okay. So this is healing as well. Like a lot of healing being done beneath the surface. I feel like at the, at the moment you're working on a few things. Um, and you're giving your energy to different um, different areas of your life. This is making you really content, really happy. You're you're really. I feel like you're really. You're in a really good place in your life right now. To be honest with you, there may be a celebration coming up here very soon too, like with somebody that you haven't talked to in a while. Um, I feel like there's nothing to worry about with this Five of Cups. Like I feel like it's unnecessary worry, and that's why your angels and your guides are really guiding you. So you take control. And uh, grab the key because it's right in front of you. You're looking right through it. So it's like you're looking into this new job, new opportunity, a new beginning, a new chapter for you. And it's really nice. It's looking really good, okay? Oh, yeah. It's looking really good. Look, Page of Pentacles is here. Yeah. Page of Pentacles and the Emperor again. Oh, my God. The Emperor and the Empress. That's crazy. Yeah, there's balance that's going to be regained in this connection for sure. Okay, so if you need a confirmation on something, like if this is your person, I definitely feel like it is. And if it's not a person you're dealing with, then it's your own divine feminine, divine masculine within you, just regaining that balance, okay? It's because you feel a little bit out of balance, and that's okay. I feel like with this healing, there's going to be something that you're going to get over, basically. Okay, you're going to start to see things in a different light, and this is going to propel you forward in the direction that you need to go in. I feel like you hold the world in your hands. So you really have the advantage, to be honest. Like, you have an advantage that most people don't. I can see that very clearly. Uh, so there's unnecessary worry here that you got to let go of. Let's go ahead and look at your 
self-care oracle. Self-care oracle for Aries, please. So here we go. I'm going to get this flow like water. So just let things be, let things go, and just go with the flow of, of the situation. If it's someone that comes back around, you're a little bit worried. Like, what if they leave again? Or what if, you know, things don't work out? Or what if that? Or what if we, you know, all these worries. I feel like the best thing you can do is stand your ground and go with the flow okay go with the flow don't don't overthink things just kind of like go with it see where it goes like that's just the main thing you can do like i don't honestly don't even feel like this person wants anything more than you anyways i feel like they're very grounded and i feel like they're willing to take the steps they need to to get to where they need to go they they realize that it's going to take some work too okay they're going to have to come in this person's going to have to come in with a solid offer as well because if you're the empress which we saw a little bit ago like you're not going to take anything less than that anyways so and this person knows very well like you know what i mean this can also be you divine masculine like if you're going after someone that you want like this person wants you to be as this emperor person where you like kind of take the bull by the horns and you just go for for it but you you have to make a solid offer and a solid offer is probably a date or something like stable that you can offer this person because I do feel like there can be a new beginning for you guys and you guys can um, communicate about what you both want and I feel like you guys are both going to find that balance that equal you guys are going to realize that you guys both kind of want the same thing and it can just be starting off as friends to be honest it doesn't even have to be that serious so let's see one more card for you so you get spend time with animals Okay, that's so nice. Put that there. And back of the deck, clear your energy field. I love that card. So let's go ahead and pull out shadow aspects for this person. So with some shadow aspects. Now keep in mind, shadow aspects are just that. They have a good and bad side. Everybody does. So do you. So it's, it's okay. It's just me. So I feel like sometimes you feel like this person um, puts on an act or puts on like they're it's like almost like you feel like they're not truthful. One more for Aries. Here we get queen of my world. Wow. So I feel like they see you like this Aries of your divine feminine. Like they see you as like you're the one. You're you're like the person for them. OK. Yeah. You're like the person for this person <laughs> they love to see you or they would love to see you like this like in lingerie or like just they want to know everything about you i feel like they want to get to know you very personally as well so i'm gonna go ahead and pull out your sparks of happiness to end your reading aries what's going on with aries what do they need to know sparks of happiness to aries please be confident you guys everything's gonna work out just fine here we get whistle sing or dance while doing household chores i feel like you may love to sing maybe maybe love to dance okay this is what gets you going foster uh gratitude write a list of things you're thankful for all right so i feel like that's what's going to make your manifestation work faster okay because you're creating something for yourself that's going to bring a lot of balance and stability okay and i know that you're not going to take anything less that um isn't ten of pentacles anyways and this person is very well, well aware of that so if they come in with the five of pentacles i feel like you're really gonna slow everything down right or they come in with something less than what you're wanting or you know that you deserve i feel like that's just not gonna go but i don't see that happening so thank you so much for tuning in aries i'll catch you guys at your next reading or your other signs bye for now